What's up guys, I'm Josh, and today I'm checking out this PowerWave 7.5 watt wireless charging pad from Anchor. Let's take a look. To start off, I would like to clear up some possible confusion regarding the naming. Even though this is called the PowerWave 7.5, it's actually capable of outputting up to 10 watts of power. Now, I'm not sure exactly why Anchor chose to call it a 7.5, but my guess is that it's one of the few wireless chargers that's capable of fast charging Apple's iPhones. And as you might know, anything that has to do with Apple's iPhones is considered special. Anyway, I used a Galaxy Note 5 in my testing since I do not own an iPhone 8 or newer, and right away, I found that the charging speeds on this guy were way faster than my old 5 watt wireless charger. Take a look at my results. Pretty impressive, huh? Now, I did have a case on my phone, and if you're not using a case on your phone with a glass back... <sighs> Anyway, this aligns with Anchor's claims that cases up to 5 millimeters in thickness will work. So, unless you're rocking an otter box or a life proof or something else that's really heavy duty, you should be fine without having to take the case off to charge this thing, which is, which is good. It's good. Now, there are a couple of things that makes this charger unique. First is what Anchor calls their Wave Boost technology which is the combination of a highly energy efficient chipset combined with premium components that ensure a reliable charge every time. To back up this claim, Anchor supports this product with an 18 month warranty. And in the box, you'll find a card that says happy, not happy. And it also includes Anchor's customer support team's contact information. Something else that makes this stand out from other wireless chargers is the fact that it has a built-in cooling system. That's right, there's actually a mini fan packed inside this thing. Now it is audible, but unless you're within a few feet, you can barely hear it. I guess if you're one of those people that cannot sleep unless it is dead silent, then this might not be for you, but I'm the opposite. I have a much bigger fan blowing air on me when I'm trying to fall asleep. So I guess it just depends what you prefer. Really though, I think this should be fine with most people. It truly is barely noticeable. But does this fan serve any purpose you may ask? Why yes, there are a couple of purposes. First, it prevents overheating, which could end up saving you money on your electricity bill, unless you live in a really cold climate. Second, it actually ends up delivering a faster charge than other wireless chargers because not as much energy is getting lost in the heat and there shouldn't be any thermal throttling. So the built-in cooling system is one of the most innovative aspects of this wireless charger, so much so that I don't know of another wireless charger to feature a fan. Big props to Anchor on that one. All right, moving on. This device does have a very clean design with a semi-rubberized top and bottom to prevent your phone from slipping and sliding all around. You'll also find the Anchor logo on top and an elegant little LED that serves as a signal indicator. For example, the light is solid blue when everything's working and your device is charging okay but it flashes blue when you have it hooked up to a charger that doesn't support Quick Charge 3.0. Speaking of, Anchor includes a compatible charger in the box, so you shouldn't have to worry. Also packed inside is a six foot long micro USB cable and the owner's manual. In conclusion, Anchor's PowerWave 7.5 watt wireless charger is a great product that charges really fast for a wireless charger. This usually goes for $40 to $50 on Amazon, and I'll have the link in the description. If you're interested in a stand, 
Anchor offers a PowerWave 7.5 watt stand as well. And I'll also have its Amazon link down below. Well, that about wraps it up. If you enjoyed this video, you'll learn something new. Go ahead and smash that like button. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. And I'll do my best to answer them. Finally, I'd greatly appreciate it if you'd subscribe so you don't miss out on anything I'm preparing for the near future. Until next time, this has been Josh from Josh's Reviews.